this next set of videos for math review. And we're now down to the last set of numbers that we haven't worked with yet. And that would be imaginary numbers. <coughs> All right, so what is an imaginary number? Square root. of a negative number. We know that the square root of 4 equals 2. But what about the square root of negative 4? Well, we know that we can rewrite this as square root of 4 times square root of negative 1. Does not exist. So we give it a name. Square root of negative 1 we call I for imaginary. So square root of negative 4 equals square root of 4 times square root negative 1, which equals square root of 4 times I, which of course equals 2I. All that an imaginary number is, is it's the square root of a negative number. Key to remember is that algebra rules, like PEMDAS, still apply. That means that i plus i equals 2i, 3i plus 4i equals 7i, but I can't do this. This is called a complex number. As a real number, as a real half, and an imaginary half. We're talking about our classifications from the very, very first video. It's still classified as imaginary. Anything I could do to 3 plus 2x can be done. to 3 plus 2i. With that in mind, let's look at it. Let's do a couple practice things. So let's start with adding and subtracting. 
2 plus 3i <coughs> plus 4 plus 5i. Combine like terms. So 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 3i and 5i is 8i. That's all there is to it. 2 plus 3i minus 4 plus 5i. Go through, change the signs like we would normally do. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 3i minus 5i is minus 2i. So combine like terms, just like polynomials. The trick comes with multiplying. Two plus three i times 4 plus 5i. Multiply just like we normally would. So we got 2 plus 3i and we have 4 plus 5i. Here's my box. 4 and 2 is 8. 4 times 3i is plus 12i. 2 times 5i is plus 10i. Now, 3i plus 5 times 5i is plus 15i squared. And we'll get to that in a second. So we have 8 plus 22i plus 15i squared. But, we don't like i squared. i squared is square root negative 1 times square root of negative 1, which equals negative 1. So this is 8 plus 22i plus 15 times negative 1 which is 8 plus 22i minus 15. 8 minus 15 is negative 7 plus 22i. And that's going to bring us into our next thing. is powers of i. Just like exponent rules, i to the zero is still one, and i to the first is i. And like we just did, i to the second equals i times i which is negative 1. Now, i to the third is i times i times i. We know this is just negative 1. Negative 1 times i is just negative i. Then i to the fourth equals i times i times i times i. <clears throat> we know this is negative 1. We know this is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And it actually repeats like this. i to the fifth is just i to the fourth 
times i to the first, which is 1 times i, which is i. And it just keeps going like this forever. i to the 6 is i to the 4 times i squared, 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. And we're going to keep cycling through those four values. So much so that we have a rule. And this is the rule. And we'll get more into this in a later video. Here's the real axis. Here's the i-axis. i to the first. i to the second which is negative 1, i to the third, which is negative i, and then i to the fourth, which is positive 1. Start here for i to the seventh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. which equals i to the third, which is negative i. How about i to the eleventh power? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's i to the third, which is negative i. You can do this for any power of i, even i to the fifteenth, which I don't know why I keep picking this, but it's going to be i to the third, which is negative i. So, this is the rule. So, if exponent is divisible by 4, it's i to the 4. If exponent is only divisible by 2, it's i to the second. So 6, 10, 14, all those even numbers that aren't divisible by 4 are i to the second. If exponent plus 1 is divisible by 4, it's i to the third. Up here, 7 plus 1 is 8. That means it's divisible by 4. 8 is divisible. 8 is divisible by 4, which means I have i to the third. Everything else is i to the first. All right, and there are your rules for powers. And that will do it for this first video on imaginary numbers. I'll see you next time.